Hello, my friends. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm back with another killer build, and this time we're going to give some love to an older killer, the Doctor. Now, when playing killer, information is key, and the Doctor gives you tons of information as base kit with his static blast and shock therapy ability. So my goal will be to keep the generators safe while also making the survivors doubt what they're seeing. All I can say is this build is going to be a scream. So for our first perk, we're going to bring in Merciless Storm. So whenever a generator reaches 90% completion, a survivor is faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss it or stop repairing the generator, it's blocked for 20 seconds. Now I only get this effect once per generator, but it's still worth it. Next, we're going to go ahead and bring in Jolt. So whenever I put a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack, this causes all generators within 32 meters to pop and lose 8% of its progress. Really, really handy, and I use it in almost every one of my builds. Next, we're going to bring in Hex Huntress Lullaby. So whenever a survivor misses a skill check when healing or repairing, they get a 6% regression penalty for each time they miss that skill check. Also, every time I hook a survivor, I get a token. Between one to four tokens, the time between the skill check warning sound and when the skill check actually happens, that time is reduced. At five tokens, they don't receive a skill check warning sound at all, making it a lot harder to hit those skill checks. And lastly, we're going to bring in Thrilling Tremors. After I down a survivor and pick them up, every generator not being repaired at that time is blocked and shown to me with a wide aura for 16 seconds, which means I can see any generator that is being worked on and then I can prioritize them. And so for add-ons, I'm going to be bringing the Iridescent King. Now this add-on does a lot and I'll leave it hovered over so that you can pause the video and kind of read it. But essentially survivors are going to be seeing and hearing fake terror radiuses, fake red stains. They're going to see a fake manifestation of the doctor. And they're also going to see any broken pallets that they're still going to think they're there. So this add-on is very, very powerful and one that I really love to run. And for my second add-on, I'm going to use the High Stimulus Electrode. This increases the range of shock therapy by 4 meters, since the goal of the Doctor is to get everyone to Madness 2 and 3 as quickly as possible. I like having that increased range for my shock therapy. And of course, we're just going to bring a Mori offering, just to, because we can. So that's the build, guys. Before I take you over to the match, I'd like to remind you that if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel like the video, and drop a comment with your thoughts about this build. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the fog. School. Ah, Batam Preschool. Looks like the doctor is going to be teaching a little bit today. Let's see if we can't find our students. Now, where, oh, where could they be? Uh, let's do the right shock blast, and, oh, there we go. There's one. Let's go say hi. Ah, there's Meg. Now remember, we want her in Madness 2 and 3, ideally, so we're going to be shocking her a lot here. Um, she's going to try and do a little loop here. We're going to just give her another little shock and yep, and, and yep, oh, going to go for the vault. We'll get an easy shock there. Really start making her go crazy, and give her a little smack on the back of the head. Very nice. And up you go. Now, thanks to Thrilling Tremors, I can see all the gens that are not being worked on, and more importantly, I can see the one that is being worked on right over here. So we're just going to make our way over, do another shock blast, and say hi. Up oh, and... Anyone going to come out? Yep, there you go. Hi, how's it going? And we're going to shock you some more. And, oh, you're really confused. You ran right back into me. And let's pick you up. Let's go. Whoop. And right over here, I can see that someone else is working on a gen, so let's go give him a nice little shock blast. Yep. We're going to start really getting into your head here. 
And uh, now you can see the full effect of the add-on. He has that illusionary red stain that I can also see. So come here, my little red glowworm. Come back. Don't be afraid. The doctor just wants to give you your prescription. And big pallet drop there. We're, we're definitely a fan of that. They're going to loop us a little bit. You can see the, uh, the illusion that he also sees of the doctor threw him off there for a minute. We'll destroy this, and then that pallet actually becomes an illusionary pallet. So anyone else who's at level 3 madness will also see that pallet and run right through it, thinking it's safe. And of course, seeing the illusionary doctor doesn't help them. Little stutter there, and a blind drop there. You don't know which way you're going. And we'll just go ahead and put you out of your misery there, buddy. Let's go. Once again, Thrilling Tremors kicks in. We can see which generators are not being worked on. And once again, more importantly, which ones are still being worked on. Let's go ahead and put you on a hook right over here, buddy. Now, one of the great things I love about the Doctor is, you know, as a killer, you get into these moments where you just don't know where anyone is. You can just use that ability and, hey, look, we found ourselves a friend down here. Trying to be sneaky down in the basement. Let's go say hi. Well, I don't see anyone here, so we'll give the generator a kick. The survivor's probably being very sneaky. And we'll just keep moving. I do hear another explosion over this way, so let's go see what all the ruckus is about. You can see those uh, downed illusionary pallets are going to make it really difficult for survivors to know what's real and what's not. And up, oh, somebody just let out a little scream here. And yep, up oh, they're healing each other. Oh, and a big swing and a miss by yours truly. And another tap. There we go. Made up for it. Let's go get you, Jake. Come on over, buddy. Jake, don't be afraid. Big miss on my power there, but we made up for it one more time, and now he's in level 3 madness. And we're just going to put him out of his misery right here. Oh, nope, I missed again. Right through the illusionary pallet, though. Now we're going to make up for it. Come on, Jake, let's go put you on a hook. So no one was in range of my power there, so we know they're not too, too close, but there is an illusionary doctor, and oh, there's our friend. Oh, come back, friend. A little pre-drop on the pallet, and a swing by yours truly. Once again, I don't know what I'm swinging at right there. Alright, we do see someone is down here again working on this gen, because they see the illusionary me. Let's go and say hi. Oh, and it's Meg. Hi, Meg. A little tap there for you. And we'll just follow our little red glow worm all the way back up here. That red stain makes it so easy to track survivors. Uh, very, very, very handy informational tool. We're going to hit her one last time and put you on a hook. Very nice. So now that we have hooked survivors five times, we now have five stacks of Hex Huntress Lullaby. So now survivors are not getting an audible warning whenever they are faced with a skill check, which is going to make skill checks even more fun for them. And now we have our friend Jake acting the hero again, running right in front of me. Surprised me so much, I almost missed him. Ran right through my illusionary pallet once again, and right back into me. Those fake terror radiuses are really, really nice. And you got me with the flashlight blind. I should have just gone for the Mori. I won't make that mistake again. Trust me. Let's go get the flashlighter. And even though I'm going to be in chase, I hear skill checks being missed. I hear survivors screaming and probably messing up on gens. This just gives me a little bit more peace of mind while I'm working with a survivor that is a little bit better on looping, as you can see here. 
just giving me that extra time I need to get him down while I also continue to cause issues for the other survivors. Ah, the corner got you there. Beaten by the corner of the wall. That's all right. We got this survivor picked up. Jolt did a lot of work for us as well, regressing the generators that were in range. And we'll put this survivor on a hook. Oh, we have another survivor being brave. And, oh, going for another pallet. Gee, I wonder if it's real or not. Whoop, not real, buddy. Give you a little smackaroo for that one. Now, where did you go? Kind of disappeared there for a second. Are you in the locker? No, not in the locker. Where'd he go? Oh, caught your foot. And you gave me a pallet. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, where'd you go? And up oh, there you are. Not getting away this time, and down you go. All right, let's put you on a hook and go find the rest of your friends. Whoop. Now we're gonna patrol back here and see if anyone else is in the area. I don't see anyone actually, and oh, nope, wait. Here's someone that was trying to be brave. It's Meg. Hi, Meg. Come here. Let's play. Now she's running over here towards the unhook. What do you bet? Yep, there are the other survivors. All ready for me. We'll just make sure they're inflicted a little bit more with my madness before I take Meg down. And now, sorry Meg. It's time to fry your brain. I promise it will only hurt a lot. And let's just check to see if it worked. All right, off to the remaining survivors. You know, the best part about having a survivor in Madness 3 is they can't really get away because of that red stain, and they can't hide in the brush. Alright, let's give your brain a little shockaroo. And did it work? I'd say it worked. Who's next? Now, I hear an injured survivor somewhere. I bet you you're down here trying to find my hex totem. And let's see if I'm right. I hear you. I hear you. There you are. No, no, no. You're not getting away. Let's go ahead and uh, fry your brain. And now it's just going to be a hatch game for the last survivor. Let's see who wins. <laughs> We've got a shock blast ready, and there's the last survivor. It's Jake. You're supposed to be the first one dead. Instead, you're going to be the last. Come here, Jake. Nope, that's not going to save you. It's a fake one. <laughs> Give in, Jake. Oh, and you fell for it again at the end. Oh, that's too much. You know, I really wish my stick was a little bigger. Man, how many people have said that? All right. And we got you down. We're not going to talk about the length of my stick anymore. And we're just going to shock you. So that's the build. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the gameplay. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>